Hey guys, welcome to Point Karting, and today we're going to unbox a Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine. So it should be noted that this is how they're delivered directly from Briggs & Stratton, in this cardboard box uh, that has some extra padding in it to keep the engine safe. When you go to open your Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine for the first time, it's important to note that you're probably going to want a box cutter, as well as some needle nose pliers. And the reason you want the needle nose pliers is that, so that you can get in here and get these copper staples, which are designed to reinforce the box, out of the cardboard so that when you go to open them up uh, and open up your box, that you can get them out safely. So a simple twist and a pull, and you're good to go. Once we open up the rest of the box, we are now greeted with what's actually inside. Some of the first things that you might want to remove from your box are going to be your engine inspection sheet, braking procedure, and the uh, vent hose for the top of the valve cover assembly. This is going to tell you a lot about how your engine was assembled at Briggs & Stratton in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as well as procedures for assembling and utilizing your LO206 engine. This comes in a clear plastic bag, uh, sealed um, with some of all of the information that you need, uh, as well as that vent hose. So it's really important not to lose this, and that's why I suggest people uh, remove this straight away. The very next thing that I would pull out is going to be that reinforced uh, cardboard padding. And the reason you want to do that is so that it's easy to pull your engine out of the box. You'll see it's folded over but with a little bit of wrangling and a little bit of persistent persistence out it comes. You can see there it was reinforced right around the crankshaft to keep it from getting damaged during transit. Same thing on the other side, which was designed to protect the uh, starter cover as well as the carburetor. And now you're ready to pull your engine out. As you can see, now we don't have anything around the engine and so it's time to pull it out of the box. Really the best places to lift this engine are going to be back behind the valve cover as well as in front of the control panel. So similar to right near the um, red stop button as well as right underneath the engine head are the two areas that I would recommend lifting your engine out with. Prep your, your arms on the side of the box as the engine is fairly heavy. Lift straight up and the engine should come straight out. And there you have it, your Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine unboxed.